Okay, so YouTube finally got me for my intro song, so y'all are just gonna have to enjoy me talk. You are my African queen, mm. the girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make me hunger. Ding a ling a ling. Did I even say that right? You know what? All right, I had one job. Hit that bell. I'm watching. What's up, everybody? If you're new, welcome. If you're old, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry, and you're watching Life with Jerry. All right, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a girl talk. We're gonna get a little bit. You feel me? Like in our business, you know, this is a little TMI. You feel me? Like. <laughs> a little spicy real quick i do want to say that i got the questions from the messia twins videos i'm sorry if i butchered your name i just want to give credit where credit is due i got these questions from their video but you feel me because like i i didn't want to ask y'all because y'all don't be y'all not active you feel me like once y'all get active i can start asking y'all send us questions and things like that but i want to incorporate girl talks into my channel so i got the first set of questions for the first video from their video so shout out to them thank you guys because because you feel me, yeah. Without y'all, this video wouldn't be happening. I mean, it might, because I'll just get it from somebody else's video. But you feel me, <laughs> yeah. Today, I'm here with Tally Drip Gang, and we the Lit Gang. Okay, <laughs> so y'all need to know who Telly is. If y'all don't, then get hit, because y'all must not have been watching me, because she's been on my channel for so long now, like, okay. So yeah, we about to do a girls talk, so make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I got you with a shout out. We're on the road to 10K and 200K here on the tube, baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so follow me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Get this video 250 likes. Let's yes. get it. Let's go. So I did like shuffle their questions around a little bit so it's not directly like the blueprint isn't the same as their video because I'm not trying to bite off of them too much. Like, I just wanted the questions. Okay, so <laughs> the first question is, what are your thoughts on birth control and do you use it? Oh my gosh. I currently have birth control in, but I just feel like my thoughts on it, it definitely messed up, messed with my hormones, like my mood swings. And then I didn't really gain that much weight from birth control or anything, but it gave me irregular periods, like three months bleeding the whole time mm -mm. hate that part <laughs> okay so for me i'm not on birth control anymore i think i got off of birth control a little bit over a year ago i want to say um i was on the pill and i was on it for a while actually but i honestly did not really like the pill i always forgot to take my pills and then when you forget you have to take two the next day and that used to make me nauseous like it was just too much i don't know if my dosage was just too high or what because mm -hmm. you know you could get lower dosages and stuff so i don't know if mine was like too high or what it was but i just could not and then um like she said hormones was all over the place i caught myself like angry and irritable easy like i got more irritable really really easy like i snap like that like i could get irritated like that like my hormones was all over the place and then on top of that i didn't really have irregular periods or anything like that and i did notice like when i got to the last line because on my pills like the first couple weeks were all the same color and the last week was where the hormone pills were and stuff so that last week was always when i got my period and always when i was just all over the place mood wise and stuff and then i gained a lot a lot of weight on the pill like that's where my thickness came from <laughs> but it mainly went to my stomach and i don't like that like i'm learning that i should have probably like been working out and keeping up with my diet and stuff all on the pills but i didn't know all that like i wasn't really educated on like birth control and stuff like that but i did stop for my own personal reasons because i did look more into birth control and like the effects and all that stuff and i just thought it was better for me to be off of birth control so mm -hmm. I'm just not on it no more and I really you know it's just every day is just living life on a gamble you know <laughs> that's pretty bad to say but it's the truth so oh and then also for me I was on um the shot the depo shot and then I also right now I have the implant and I need to take it out but yeah just wanted to tell you guys what kind of happened and with both of them I still got the regular period right, right. yeah because one of my friends she was on I think depo if I'm not mistaken and she got her period for like five months I was like girl why not she was like, yeah, like the first month or two was really heavy and then after that I was really spotting. But I'm like, still, like, what? I'm bleeding for five months? No, sorry. 
<laughs> no sir. <laughs> no sir. <laughs> How to cope with a breakup slash be happy single. I feel like we could give like a little bit of tips, but if y'all want us to do a girl talk video based on this particular like topic itself, let us know. Cause I feel like coping with a breakup is like a whole video in itself. Mm -hmm. But my top like maybe three tips would be, dang, how to cope with a breakup. Let me think. Cause I've been through what, three breakups and two were really bad. Um, I want to say, do stuff like like self-care stuff do stuff to make yourself feel good and feel happy and make yourself fall back in love with you because mm -hmm. i know sometimes like not everybody but for me like in like two out of three of my relationships i lost myself a lot and i lost like my worth and all of those things so i just needed to get back to me i need to find my work and fall in love with myself again so do stuff that makes you fall in love with you like focus on your craft if that if that's what makes you happy read a book like you feel me take pictures get cute like mm -hmm. put makeup on get cute if makeup is not what makes you feel good like get your nails do whatever done. like get your nails done get your toes done get your hair done like whatever you feel me and just like boss up like you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying glow up like you i know me up for yourself not yeah. because you want to show off to the dude but it's for yourself yeah well being like i know me when i get when i go through breakups after every breakup i glow up and not just so i could be like oh Here. stun on my ex you feel me maybe that's just a little bit <laughs> but it's more so for myself yeah. like i didn't like who i was with him i didn't like how i looked when i was with him so let me glow up let mm -hmm. me be a better me for me you yeah. feel me so yeah that's one of my tips my other tip would be like if you can't seem to get over with over him seeing him all the time block his number block his instagram block whatever social media y'all have cut off all connection you feel me with the Disappear. family the family I know. oh my gosh that's really the one because i pull myself back in sometimes because i keep in contact with like mamas and stuff like that yes. because i genuinely like love their family like so when sweet. i yeah when i get in relationships like i genuinely get invested you feel me so i tend to like we'll be breaking up we'll be blocked on everything and all that but i'm still in contact with the family and it's like don't do that because it's like you still are putting yourself ties with them mm -hmm. you feel me so yeah that's a good one but yeah i say like cut off all con connection like remove yourself you feel me like disappear like disappear and glow up period but yeah disappear you know what i'm saying and my third one would be like realize it's not your fault don't beat yourself up about it because i think we get caught up also like within breakups we feel like what could i have done better oh i did this i did that what should i've done playing it back in our head because like that's somebody we really thought we was gonna be with forever you feel me like we still be having them to fairy tales like the fuck so i feel like you feel me like take away the idea of what could i have done better or this that and the third yes learn from the relationship so that way in your next relationship you move different but also don't bring that baggage which you don't be like damn in that relationship i did this i did that i need to fix this i need to fix that like yeah fix it and stuff, yeah. but don't dwell on it basically exactly. that's what i'm saying exactly like, just move on like fully move on like if you're saying you're moving on from somebody genuinely move on you feel me like don't stalk them don't do all that and then yes i agree with you and then also one huge thing is that because i definitely did this and it's like when you get when you break up with somebody or somebody break up with you like don't be rushing to talk to the next dude rushing to get in a relationship so fast because you really got to focus on yourself and focus on how you can be better if you go into another situation hurt you just gonna be more hurt coming out. You ain't gonna gain yeah. nothing from it because you're still going to be hurt at the end of the day. You know what I'm you're saying? You're vulnerable, so mm -hmm. anybody that comes your way, you're gonna think like, even though yes, it may be genuine, but sometimes it may not, and you're gonna think, oh yeah, this is genuine. Like yeah, yeah I'm gonna like heal it. this wound with this person. Like that's the worst you could ever do, and I've done that too, and it's it never turns out good for me, yeah. like ever, like. Don't hop from, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a huge one. And then I will also say like, find new hobbies too, like kind of what Jay was saying. Like just find new stuff to do. I don't know. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the main yeah. things I have. But like, if you want us to go more into detail, we could like really do a real video. Like mm -hmm. we could do, we could get real. We could. We could kick up, kick back, <laughs> relax, grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your snacks, and really talk. Because I feel like breakups is like such a huge topic, and I feel like we can all relate on stuff like that. So if y'all want a video for real, let us know. Because I done been yeah. through my fair deals of breakups. It's same. <laughs> okay. Does it or did it hurt the first time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me show y'all. That's not for me. Okay, so... 
I don't know if you guys saw my How I Lost My Virginity story time. I'm gonna refilm it though, cause that was a while ago, but I lost my virginity at 16. And that stuff hurt, like that junk really hurt. Like I did not enjoy it, I would, wanted to cry. I kept, like I was just, it was just not the best experience for me. I did not enjoy it. It just hurt, like it hurt really, really bad. Like I wanted to cry, but everybody's experience is different. You feel me? But for me, mm -hmm. that junk hurt. <laughs> Girl, for me too. That stuff hurt really, really, really yeah. bad. Like, I was crying. Like, tears. I was like, hmm. But I was like, tears was coming down my face because that really did hurt. And then, like, my first time, my cherry did not pop. So, I mean, that wasn't that bad. But when it actually did pop, like, later down the line, mm -hmm. it was bad. So, just I think mine. Good. I think mine popped when I did because when I got in the shower I was bleeding so I think mine did pop but I don't think it fully popped because it popped like I I had sex way later down the line like with a different partner and I think my cherry fully popped in because woo that was an experience <laughs> that was a whole another experience so I don't think it fully popped in like it, it almost popped like it bled a little bit but it wasn't like Crazy, you feel me? I thought it popped back then, but then I realized later down the line, oh no, now it popped. <laughs> now it popped. And you know, popping your cherry, people could pop their cherry anyway. Like, I, my friend, yeah. she popped her cherry on her bike. Like, she, oh, I don't know, she hit herself some type of way, I don't know, yeah. and her cherry popped that way. So, right. you don't yeah. always pop your cherry from intercourse. So, don't think that if your cherry doesn't pop, like, something's wrong with you or whatever, because mm -hmm. you could have popped it when you was young, you could have right. popped it whenever. Sports, you know I mean? playing games, all yeah. that stuff, it happens. Even sports, yeah, stuff like that, so. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> The first time, if it if it is hurting, like for the girls that haven't done it and you're nervous and scared, like you should let your partner know and make sure your partner is somebody that is like comfortable with like stopping if you're uncomfortable. Because if he's still going and you hurt the big girl, yeah, you gotta rethink who you with. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, that's one thing I could say. It's like my partner. He said he was gonna go slow, and he really did go slow. But even slow was. <laughs> Even slow was not it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get too deep because I'm refilming the story time. But just know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me do it. Just. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> How to orgasm as a girl? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like, okay, let me tell y'all something. I think it's, it's not just only on your partner. But it's also like kind of on YouTube because me, I don't <laughs> orgasm like that. Like, I don't know if it's the, my partners because I don't think they, I think they always get theirs and then forget. You feel me? Like, yeah, she got to get hers too. Ooh, you feel me? Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, I've had partners that have tried to make sure I got mine, but they just didn't do it for me. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, I don't know what it is. I know it's definitely a combination of foreplay. Combination of obviously intercourse combination of a lot of things and also mind over matter you feel me like if you're not into it You're just not into it's it at all exactly. and I think sometimes that's what it is with me Like I just don't be into it sometimes so it's just not gonna happen and then it's like I don't know what it is like I don't think they be you know you gotta really Put Pay attention in. to the clit. Oh. You gotta oh, pay yeah. attention to the clit, okay? And some people forget about the clit. So, I don't know. I feel like I've gotten to the point where I was really, really close. Like, okay, TMI, but I've never squared it. But I think I've gotten to that point where I was about to, but I'd be scared because I think I'm gonna pee. <laughs> but I recently learned, I don't know how true this is or not, but I, somebody told me that, like, when you squirt, like, when you're having sex and stuff, you literally physically can't pee on yourself. But I don't know how true that is, mm -hmm. but I still be thinking, like, oh, this might be pee. Like, I ain't finna let this happen. Like, like, I'm just gonna hold this in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know. We're gonna, we gonna see. <laughs> Try some things. As for me, I feel like, um, I, I, you know, I can have a little orgasm, but I, it's always like the same position. Like, I don't know what it, what it is, but just like, it's happened with different partners as well, but it's like, they have to be in the same mm -hmm. position and they got to listen to me when it's happening. Like that too. Like you be telling them, don't stop, don't stop. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> and sometimes they stop. Like, why did you stop? Why did you stop? I'm not playing games with you. Why did you stop? The oh, heck? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've caught myself like Damn. orgasm. I think I've orgasmed more off head than I have like intercourse. So Damn. somebody's That's doing different. something wrong. And 
it's time to figure it out with my next partner when I when that time comes. But anyways, <laughs> what is the biggest red flag in your opinion? Mm. Dang. I would say the biggest red flag for me is like, dang, I have a lot. <laughs> me too. I'm like, I can name a few. I can name, I can go on a tangent. Right. But I know for sure one big red flag for me is text ships. Like, I feel like, why are we constantly texting when we could be linking? You feel me? Like, I'm the, I'm the type of person, I like to text, but I'm a terrible texter. I'd rather see you. I'd rather FaceTime you. People that don't FaceTime me like that, not saying, like, it's a problem, but, like, once in a while, like, damn, why have I never seen your face on FaceTime? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if I've seen you in person, why don't we FaceTime? Like, mm -hmm. that's weird to me. Why are we always just texting? And then, like, when we don't kick it, why are we just texting? Why can't we link? Like, what's the problem? <laughs> That's the red flag to me. Like, what's the problem? Like, I get it. People be busy. People got work. But ain't nobody that damn busy in the world. Like, mm -hmm. how do you right. how do you have time for a relationship if you can't never see me? You feel me? And that's obviously where we're trying to build towards. So, what's T? And then my other red flag would be only texting me, like, at night or at late hours. Like, yeah, you don't talk to me all day, but you only text me at night. Like, I feel like, yeah, some people got things to do during the day, but at the same time, like, once again, ain't nobody that damn busy every single day, seven days a week. Like, mm -hmm. why are you only texting me at night? Right. And then, I got a lot. I'm I letting you guys know, too. So, um, for me, I would, be, I would say if... He's just like really disrespectful to women in general. I just feel like that's a huge red flag because then you're going to be disrespectful to me, my family. You're going to start disrespecting me in front of other people. Like that's a no for me. I can't mess with that because baby, come correct or don't come at me at all. <laughs> calling females bitches. Like even if it's not towards me, just calling females in general bitches or a, a, addressing females as bitches on your post. Mm -hmm. Like bitches this, bitches that or my bitch, my bitch. I'm not your bitch. Sorry. I'm your girl, I'm your your woman, your lady. Right. Forever, like, but I don't understand why they do that. Yeah. I really do not like And speaking that. about like how they treat women and stuff, if that man's mom is in their life, see how they treat their mom. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like That's huge. I feel like that that shows a lot. Like Depending on their relationship, of course, too, but at the same time, that's still a woman. So no matter what their relationship is, I feel like just see how they treat their mama if their mom is in their life because, you know, stuff happens. But mm -hmm. I think seeing that, too, like, is a good tip, you know. Huge tip. But um, the last thing, well, just another thing, because I have a lot of things. I have a lot of things. <laughs> would be probably, like, how... Like, if he's lying about little things that don't even be lied yes. about, that's a big red flag because, honey, <laughs> child. Like, why are you lying? Especially if y'all not even together. Exactly. <laughs> you don't even owe me nothing at this point in our lives. Like, you don't owe me nothing. No little white lies, why? Like, what is the point? What was, what was the reason for this? <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> like, it just doesn't, I don't get it. Like, why, why, why lie? Why lie? Why you lie? You ain't gotta lie. What? <laughs> Especially if we're not together. You don't owe me nothing. Like, I, are you scared of me? What am I gonna do to you? We're not, I, you don't, we have no ties technically. Like, we're not in a relationship. I can't, I technically can't be mad at nothing you say or do technically. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We exactly. ain't together. But, yeah, them lies will, child, watch that. Watch that because Huge. I'm gonna tell you how that didn't got me into some messed up relationships, child. Okay. Not watching it and looking past the red flags. Okay. Yes, don't be making excuses for these dudes. At all. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer being shaved when having sex? And also, do you prefer the guy being shaved? For me, I prefer being shaved because when I get head and I'm shaved, I, I don't know what it is. It's just like he can suck the clip. This might be too much information, but he can suck the clip better. It just it just feels like he can hit every single point and I can feel every single thing. And, and when it's foreplay, your his fingers and all this stuff not getting caught yes. in the hair. It's very hurting. <laughs> That's not a good feeling. Like. So yes, that that's and then if he's like he don't have to be completely shaved, but if he like escapes, yes, if it's okay in the area like he didn't trimmed, if you trim, I'm fine. 
Yeah, because ain't nobody got time for your hair getting stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Manscape a little. Like, why is it so long? <laughs> yeah, oh but God. I agree. And also with being shaved, I agree too. Because like I said, it's it's just I feel uncomfortable when I'm not shaved when I'm sh not shaved. Like I can still have sex, don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. But I feel like I just don't feel my best when I'm not shaved. And nine times out of ten, honestly, if you like I will tell you, like, I'm not shaved. I don't I don't I'm not really feeling this, but <laughs> depending on how much I like you, I might feel it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of time it's like I'm not shaved, like I go shave real quick, or like, what's that? <laughs> you know, like, but I do prefer being shaved, and he don't gotta be bald, but like, manscape a little bit, mm -hmm, just a little exactly. bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> you know, ain't gonna hurt, right? Just a little bit. How to smell slash taste good down there? Hmm. Mm. I see. Look, I don't do much. Like, I need to educate myself better, honestly. But I feel like I'm fine down there. Like. I eat whatever I eat. You feel me? I know back in the day people used to say eat pineapples, you know, all this stuff. But I just drink a lot of water. I eat what I eat. And I just take care of myself. Like honestly, like I don't I don't really know I don't really know specifics to be honest. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, like People say don't use soap when you wash them down there. But I use soap. I don't put it in my <laughs> vagina, but like when I'm taking a shower, like I just you feel me like mm -hmm. I don't but know. I don't use special out. products. No. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't like know. Like scented so. products or anything. Yeah, like yeah. I feel that. Um, for me, <laughs> I would say like drink a lot of water, and then also, um, I use. I, I don't use it every week, but I'll use it like maybe like four or five days in a month, and it keeps me good. It's like it's boric acid on um, Amazon. You can. I think it's kind of like mm. BH or something, but basically you like insert it in your vagina at night and then like it takes out like all the ex excess mm. stuff that you don't need in your body and you just wear like an underwear liner in your underwear when you sleep and then like if you're having problems where you really do actually smell it down there, like I promise you after the second day, baby, <laughs> you ain't gonna be smelling nothing at all. Like it really cleans out your body and clears you out really nice. Oh, that's, so. that's different. I never read mm -hmm. that actually. Yes, and then it works really well. You can read like Amazon's review, girl. I mm -hmm. got you. I'm saying the link. Okay. But um, <laughs> other than that, I just like clean with water down there because the boric acid really helps me with everything, and I'd be good. Right. And if you notice like you're getting a little funky down there or anything, and you use that, like you will be straight. I promise. <laughs> See, I've never had problems with like smelling down there, so. I don't know. I just take showers and I'll be fine. But <laughs> and I still be nice and wet and all that. But yes. And also, if you notice your um your discharge like looking a little funny too, that helps with that too. Hmm. So yeah. Girl, put y'all on game. She just put y'all on game. Sponsoring. Dropping <laughs> keys. <laughs> have you ever bled through on your period? Yes, I have. Like I feel like. I mean, maybe not every girl has, but I feel like once in your life, I feel like you have at least like once. Because even when your period first starts, you technically bleed through because you, you yeah. know, sometimes like you wake up and you like, damn, my period started. Damn. damn okay. Damn. Let me tell you how many bed sheets I had to change. Okay, same. But I've definitely cool. bled through. Like I've had times where like I was in class and my teacher wouldn't let me go to the bathroom to change my pad, and then boom, I'm bleeding through. Like, and damn. So embarrassing. Embarrassing. Especially like. like elementary school when it would happen oh yeah God. so i definitely bled through more so when i was younger though not as much now like yeah. i don't really bleed through now like i'll be on it you feel me changing my pads and stuff but yeah and then yeah like i don't, I don't yeah know. i don't know it is embarrassing but just understand you're not the only person it happens to yeah. you if it does happen to you because girl a lot of girls probably deal with that it just takes time when you get yeah. used to just find what works for you too. Yeah, because it could be tampons, it could be pads, mm -hmm. it could be whatever. Like me, I've only used a tampon maybe two, three times in my whole life, and I and it was really like while I was this age, like this, like last year or this year, and it was because I was on my period and it was around times where I was going out mm -hmm. and I wanted to go to parties and not be like feeling like I, you could see my pad. Cause sometimes <laughs> it's like damn, it looked like I got that wrong back there or something. <laughs> so I would like wear a tampon so that way, like at the party and stuff, you wouldn't see it. And I, I it was fine. Like I did have. Have troubles the first time trying to insert that thing. I'm gonna oh, it's hard. That stuff was hard. That's why I don't wear tampons personally because it's just, 
it's a headache for me <laughs> but yeah and I'm, i want to get more into like organic products like pads and tampons and stuff so yeah but i haven't gotten into that yet because i just be forgetting and my kid would just be coming and, <laughs> and i'm like just, I don't got time to go, go get it. Get it <laughs> yeah. But I be cramping, all that stuff. Like, my period is just not. Girl, the but cramps. It's short. My period is short. That's one thing I am blessed to say because yeah, that's the when I was younger, it was like seven days. Now it'd be like three, four. Seven days too long. Okay, now I'd be having them seven days, maybe nine. <laughs> but for yeah, me. Yeah, when I was younger, it was like seven to nine days. I'm like, okay, when I get older, this better slow down. And it, it is. Did. Thank you. It's better. <laughs> For me, I use, um, right now, I started using tampons a lot more often. I use organic tampons, and it just is so much better for me. Just because, like, I mean, you have to change up, change them a lot more often than you have to change out pads, okay. which I hate. So, like, I wear pads to sleep and stuff, or if I'm not doing, like, anything crazy d during the day. But other than that, I'll, like, wear a tampon, and as you do it more, it's easier to put in and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I just need to get into it, like... Mm -hmm. Cause when I did it for that weekend, after like the second day, pro. <laughs> Period. <laughs> How to shave slash best hair removal. Now this is probably not a topic for me to answer because listen, I, <laughs> I like, I, I just be shaving. Like I don't use nothing like down there. I just shave like straight mm -hmm. on there. Like I don't put not, not even no soap, not even no nothing. Which is really bad because I be getting shaving bumps. I'm not even gonna cap. But it's just like how I'm used to shaving. So I'm trying to learn better methods because shaving bumps are not fun. You be thinking you got something like, hold up. Why is there a bump right there? What the <laughs> is going on? Right. So shaving bumps are not fun. Like I didn't call myself going to them. Kaiser to go check check for STDs because I'm thinking I got something when it's just a damn ingrown hair. Like, okay, so don't take my advice and don't shave straight on the skin. I'm gonna tell you that now. But find out where it works for you. I'm still trying to figure out what might and may not work for me. I did get a Brazilian wax before or whatever. No, I got sugared and that was just beautiful. I loved it. It hurt like hell, but I loved it. And my freaking vagina was like bald for like a month Ooh, almost two months yes. literally it lasts a spring break sugaring lasts so oh, i wish i kept up with it but corona right. happened so because right. i was about to change my life around in march <laughs> i went sugaring and it was just about to be a start a thing then corona happened so now i'm back with ingrown hairs and shaving bumps but <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm trying to find what works for me mm -hmm. <laughs> so do the same <laughs> Yeah, just find out what works for you. Sometimes, like, for my armpits and, like, legs, most of the time I use nail or I'll shave with, like, sometimes I use, I'll use, like, body wash or something. I used to have, you know, body wash for that. And then I used to wax um, a lot, but sugar waxing lasts longer than um, regular Brazilian wax, like the strips. And so, sugar hurts less. Mm-hmm, a lot less. And that's... Because she did the strips on, like, little parts of me, and bitch, I almost kicked her in the face because that <laughs> hurt it so bad. But sugar and hurt it too. Like the whole thing was sweat, booty cheeks was sweating, all that. But <laughs> TMI. The but results. For real, the the results. results. Yeah. Because if I would have yeah. kept up with it, it probably wouldn't even hurt right now, by now. Mm -hmm. But Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Female masturbation slash pleasure. Like, I guess what we, how we feel about that. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Our take on that. I feel like it's nothing wrong with it though. I feel like everybody does it. Like, males do it. They do, they probably do it more. So right. I don't get why, like, when they find out girls do it, it's like, why you, like, they be so shocked. But, like, I don't know. I don't masturbate like that. But I feel like it's nothing wrong with it. You feel me? Like, I just haven't figured out, like, kind of what works for me. But I feel like it's, it's, I think it's good to masturbate because you can learn your body and yeah, figure out what like. you like and what works for you and how a man could pleasure you because you like already know what to do you feel exactly me? so i feel like for me like i'm trying to you know what i'm saying because i ain't gonna cap i used to be childish about it like what the heck like this is awkward like i used to feel like it was awkward like why am i sitting here really doing this you feel me but yeah <laughs> i mean yeah i guess it's just like i don't know but it is kind of awkward when you first get into it or whatever and for me i don't know i'm i still feel like i don't know how to pleasure myself so i, I feel like i don't either do and it's crazy because like i don't know i'm big on zodiac signs and stuff but you feel me tauruses are freaks like i'm gonna keep it a buck like i'm i'm nasty okay i'm a little freak i'm a little freak so the fact that like i don't know how to pleasure myself is just wild to me but like I gets down. 
<laughs> so I just need to, I just need to figure out what works for me basically. Like I just feel like, because I feel like once I learn my body and what works for me better, I could definitely guide a guy. Oh. And life will be 10 times better, so <laughs> yeah. But I don't think nothing wrong with it for me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with what Jerry's saying. Like, I really don't think anything is wrong with it. And some girls be talking about all these different nice little toys they got. Yeah, I want to start getting into stuff like that. Like something. Yeah. No cap. And last but not least, tell us something that people don't talk about that happens during sex. Hmm. I want to say one thing for sure, which the twins said in their video too. But one thing for sure is queefing. Like... I feel like it's an unspoken thing. Like everybody does it, everybody knows what it is. Well, maybe everybody don't do it, but it's normal. Like I used to think like, what is wrong with me? Why is this happening? But then I learned more about it. Like, yeah, I used to be embarrassed and stuff. Then I learned more about it. And honestly, some guys really like when you queef. Like mm -hmm. they love it. So don't think nothing wrong with it. You feel me? Yeah. Perfect. I'm trying to think what else like. I know, me too. That happens. That nobody really talks about. I don't know. I feel like this is talked about, but I, cause I see people talk about it, but it's kind of like kissing the person after you give them mm -hmm. head or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, that stuff is cute. I like that. But I like it too. Something like, I feel like that's real nasty. And if you can't <laughs> kiss me after, bro, listen, if you can't kiss me after you just did that, or if I don't want to kiss you, no. If I don't want to kiss you after you did that, then it's something wrong with me down there. Right. You should feel like, girl, okay. Back at it. <laughs> okay, and if, if you don't want to kiss me after I did what I did down there, then what's wrong with your people? Like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been down there. Like, now I'm now that's a red flag. So, I feel like it should be nothing wrong with it. Like, it's your body part you should know it's clean you should know you feel me like that's mm -hmm. but i do feel like that's something that's not really talked about too and then it'd be people that's real childish about it like i'm not gonna kiss her after this or i'm right. not gonna kiss him after that like okay then maybe y'all shouldn't be doing that <laughs> no because you have a problem but yeah oh another thing is guys like liking um nipple pleasure like oh, while yeah. during it i don't think anybody really talks about that that much that's true too and i feel like okay one thing i feel like people don't talk about too is like girls being pleasured from like their nipples oh, yeah. and stuff like that like i i don't know why i'm just from my nipple <laughs> but i feel like i feel like like i feel like for me like there's been guys where if i'm not into it or i'm not into them like that it don't feel like nothing. Like honestly, getting your nipple sucked don't feel don't really feel like nothing. You feel me? But I feel like the more you're into the guy and the more you're into like the Ooh. the sex, like that stuff will have your toes curling. Like that stuff yes. really feels so good. <laughs> but I think it's more so mind over matter, like how much you're into it. Because if you're not into it and you're not into the guy, you'll realize it really don't feel like nothing. But sad. when you're into it and you're into that guy, like it feels like something, you know? And that's so weird to me and it's really not talked about because I I didn't find myself not into somebody or into the act and I'm just sitting there like, yeah, they're mm, just like, it's not working. Like, okay. <laughs> and then I done found some and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah. Period. But I hope you guys enjoyed my first, our first girl talk video. If you want more girl talk videos, please comment below topics and things like that because I do want to incorporate them into my channel more. Also, don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias. Her channel will be in my description box. So will my social medias. But in case you don't know what it is, it's on the screen. You feel me? Like, follow me. Give me the 10K on Instagram. It's a giveaway coming and I got you with a shout out. But I love you so much, Jerry Gang. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me leave you on a quick positive note. Beat your face. Not people. Bye.